Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at part two of our game development tutorials. This one is going to be the RTS camera movement. So all I've added to the scene is a main camera. I've just given it a script as well, but I'll go over that in a sec. That camera is just by going game object create other and then camera. And then I've set it to have a script which I've put into a directory here. It's a lot easier if you put everything in folders just to keep it all tidy. So I created a script that I have called cam movement and then that script has this inside it. So we have a variable of edge boundary which at the moment is set to 10 and that's simply the amount off of the edge of the screen that you're going to want to have it. So when you move your mouse, let me, I'll show you what, I'll show you what we're doing. So if I move my mouse to the edge of the screen here, you can see it moves the camera. But as well as that, I can use the, the uh, arrow keys there and I can also use the W, A, S and D keys. So that's all that that's all this is going to be doing. But it's kind of a, it's, it's nice to be able to add it to pretty much any game that you're going to have as a top down game. So we've got our edge boundary of 10, which will set how close to the edge we can do it. So if I'm kind of here, it'll start moving, but I can also have it. So if you wanted it to be set as 50 or something, you, you can have it here. So it will be exactly the same. I think it's actually the other way around. I did it based on division, so it'll be more like if you had it set to 5, it would be twice as much. So what we've got is in our function update, we've got an if statement of if input mouse position y is less than the screen height divided by the amount that we set here, or we're pressing a vertical button or we're giving a vertical axis because that will also base it off of our if we're using a controller as well. I'm trying to make these tutorials so you'll be able to use them pretty much for anything. Obviously you'd have to change all of this if you're doing it for an iOS or an Android app. Other than that we're going to be using these and then if that and that is less than zero so basically if our mouse is at the bottom of the screen I've, I've commented every script that I've used in these just so it'll be easier for you to understand after, I've, after you've gone through the tutorial rather than having to keep watching it over and over again. So inside that we've got our transform position is plus equals so that means it'll add to it every time just a vector 3 of uh, 0 0 and negative 0 0.1 so it just moves a very small amount uh, to the but to the bottom that one is and then it's exactly the same for all of them apart from we're changing the uh, screen height for screen width down here and then we're also minusing uh, the amount so we're doing it based on the right hand side or the left hand side or the uh, top or the bottom of the screen and then we've got vertical and vertical and then horizontal and horizontal for left and down and up um, and the only thing we're changing inside these is just uh, which whether we're changing the x-axis or the z-axis and whether we're doing it by positive or negative so that's pretty much it, so I hope that's useful, and I will see you in part three of the tutorial.